Hey, Mel, I'm off. Oh, bye-bye then. See you in a bit. Who do you think it was? Where's he gone? Up the job centre to see if there's any jobs on offer. Not that you'd know nothing about that. Who in their right mind's going to imply that lazy git? We all know which side the family got his laziness from. I might have known it'd be all down to me. Anyway, he's changed. Deep down, where it matters, Nick's a good boy. Then why is he trying to do you in? No, oh, not that again. I still ain't seen no evidence, have I? I explained about that shepherd's pie. It weren't my fault. No, well, he shouldn't have left it lying around. Well, I couldn't take it in a cardie with me, could I? We were unhygienic. Besides, I was in and out quick as a flash. Oh, do you have to be so vulgar? And it wasn't that Grant's fault, either. He thought it was the one he'd ordered off Sharon. Yes, yeah, but what I hear, he was right as rain, which can only mean one thing. That shepherd's pie was perfectly all right. He ain't got eight for a couple of days. Oh, look, Charlie, I don't want to hear another word. Doc, I'm begging you. Fix an appointment with Dr. Legg so he can give you a proper check out. I saw him about six weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, please, I'm really worried. Yeah, so you keep saying. Well, why else would I be here? Because it's seven quid a night cheaper than the bed and breakfast. I could just as easily have gone up north again. Nobody is stopping you. Oh, I'll make a bargain with you. You see Dr. Legg, and as soon as you've got the all clear, I'll be on the first bus out. Yeah, I've heard that before. All right, you won't do it for me, do it for Nick. Clear his name once and for all. Oh, all right then. If that is the only way I'm going to get rid of you, I'll go. But you are wrong, yeah. Charlie Cotton. I hope for your sake I am. <laughs> <laughs>